they bought a pharmacy to come down and give me an inspection. And then I'm waiting for the guy to put a sink in so I can get inspected. So once that happens. It takes forever. You know, you service the community for 18 years as a pharmacist. You don't normally hug and kiss your customers. Each and every one of them says, you, please, you have to come back. The neighborhood needs you. If you come back, it'll be a sign of hope. We tried very, very hard to come back. We are at 583 Midland, which is a rental space about a block and a half away from where the pharmacy normally is. Okay, thank you, Richie. Bye-bye. So we're already coming up on the first anniversary, and uh, so another holiday out of the house, not being with my kids. And Louie and, and his, and his uh, yeah. partner Jerry and carry even Sparky on. carry on the, the tradition of neighborhood pharmacy. You know. Louie, what? It's all right? We What's had to rent the space out. Both me and Jerry, we were in jeopardy of losing our homes. Yeah, so you matched a couple of items, so we got, we made yeah, one. It was bad. When we finally got here, he pulled up to the store, and I'll never forget it because there was nothing, there was nothing left. Um, I dropped to my knees and I couldn't believe it. The windows were all blown out. And we've been open um, about eight months now. Every dollar that we brought in has gone to almost pay everybody off. People are talking about, across the board, being down 20, 30 percent. Business owners are getting calls from customers. Are you open? Have you reopened yet? And the people that are here either don't have the money to spend because they're too busy trying to rebuild, or it's just not in their mindset right now to get their computer fixed. It spins around. And my children were sitting next to me. What it took me 28 years to build, I figured was just gone for good. Not one person I speak to is, is saying that business is either as good or better than it was pre-Sandy. Normally these benches would be totally full post-pre-Sandy. Um, now it's a little bit light. I'm, I'm a block and a half from the water. A lot of my uh, customers, they're gone. Most people don't even realize that you're still in business anymore. Once the power went out, we kind of lost track of what was going on and really didn't know what was really going on until Wednesday when we were allowed to come down here. From day one, when me and Jerry spoke, it was, we know we got to pay people back. We're going to pay them back. We just got to figure a way how. We did apply for the Mayor Bloomberg $25,000 loan with the $10,000 grant, and we got that right away. But if it wasn't a national grid, I probably wouldn't be sitting here right now. It w wouldn't have made it. We, we called our distributors back and said, look, we want to get open again, and we, we were shut down instantly. They weren't you know, willing to give us any time.
whatever money came in as far as accounts receivables for the next 30 days when we were closed wasn't a fraction of what we owed out. If I give that to them, I still owe them half of the debt. Now Midland Pharmacy and me and Jerry have no money, no job. I have to go find a job. We owe money on the building. The bank's not going to let us walk away from the, from the building. So the right thing to do is to, at the time, attempt to come back and rebuild the building and rebuild the pieces of our business and our lives. Yeah, we're ready to go in. We're close. I mean, he, he's cleaning up whatever and... So some of the things that we're doing moving forward is that is where that used to be. See the air conditioning fan? It used to be on a pad over there. All right. At least if somebody says, well, what did you do moving forward, genius, in case it happens again? That's one of the things we did it is for a generator. I get a generator with gas, boom, take it. Plug it here. This is why it's straight to the box. And then I can go in and go and turn on. But what we did is we got rid of hot water because we don't take showers in here. We're not cooking. Um, and you see the tubes? 